it's actually gonna go on the person who bought it. Believe it or not. How much does he want for a light staff? Not too much. I don't know what they do. I'm going to buy five of them. I know that sounds wasteful. I'm pretty sure though that they're torches, except better. Ooh, sleep spores and blinding spark. Spells for her. I learned while I was watching a let's play of this game. Yes, I was watching a let's play of this game again. Um, I learned that the scrolls, actually you can get them if you buy a scroll and then the character that can learn the spell uses said scroll on themselves, <clears throat> they, uh, they learn to, uh, cast a spell forever. Yes, I'm going to give that to her. She is important to me. What? What I hear you? I hear you saying it out there. I hear you. You're calling me out on being, like, sexist or something. And favoring my female mage character over other characters. Nonsense, I tell you. Nonsense! I would never do such a thing. Tom, do you still have- okay, you don't. Oh, right, we determined that the sun dagger is not usable in the tale. Um... Sira, then, I guess? Have the sun dagger instead of the crystal dagger that is out of charges. That I still don't know if I can recharge or not, because I forgot to look that up. Darn. Okay, um... One of these places I can buy food, which we desperately need. Yes, it's here. We're going to buy... Wow, not anywhere near that much. <coughs> oh, God. Sorry. Hundred rations. Now it spreads it out evenly, so everybody should have a decent amount of rations now. Everybody got 20. Decent enough. Let's move on. Now one thing I can tell you for all of you future future viewers of my Let's Plays, I am very likely going to almost always favor non-human characters. The only exception to that is normally going to be the main character, who you can notice has the fire blade, the helmet with a crystal, which I should probably maybe see if identifying changes what it's called. He has the power amulet. I mean, the only thing he's not geared up with is two rings. Which, trust me, I'm sure that'll change. Um, the Dream Shield would also be going to him. Now, I can't actually say if I'm going to or not, but considering that some of the best gear in the game is available here right now, it's possible that I might sit here and fight bandits for a while. If that happens, I will not force all of you to watch it. Oh, there it is. Suddenly several shabby men, mean-looking persons, jump out of hiding place. They attack! Oh, two bandits. Why are you over there, Malthus? I don't understand. Let's advance the party. So I found out what hurry does. It doubles the number of attacks that a character has during their turn. Just FYI. Um, yes, I was... Although it's, it's very obvious by now, I was correct. This bar maxes out. Once it's maxed out, the spell's as good as it can get. Um, as you use it, the spell gets more powerful. It's very, like I said, that's very obvious by now, but it is true. Um, so if I wanted Sleep Spores to get better, which I kind of do, I would need to use it more. His magic, Shock, is actually really lame. Um, shock does the exact same thing that Boasting does, just on a row. Um, it actually isn't a lightning spell like I had originally hoped. Uh, it just fears them. Uh, I don't remember what Magic Shield does. Berserk is just... I don't remember either. Um, his real his real shining is apparently in his demon, his demon exodus spells. Was not able to deflect the spell. Does that mean he's sleeping? Ow, 13. Um, I don't know 
know what magic shield does. Let's use it. On Dreer. They seem to be after him. Maybe it'll help to use that on him. Oh, whoops. Oh, well. <coughs> He's sleeping again. Oh my god, magic shield is kind of stupid looking. It didn't seem to really do much of anything. That's cool. Well, now you've wasted all of your spell points. Actually, let's use healing. And then I'm gonna have you change what you're doing, because you really definitely don't need to do that. You should bang this. That other one's a sleeping. Um, now that he's asleep, you might as well just move up there. Oh, look, he's down. Let's move him over there. Let's move you back, because I guess I shouldn't have moved you over. Start moving over, Tom. And you start the fight for them. With a thorn trap. Sleep, he takes lots of damage. Ah, oh, he's out of here. 25 experience, but that's not the true treasure. This is the true treasure. All this stuff. And I know this is gonna sound ridiculous, but they drop all this stuff every time. So every time you find a set of bandits, you end up with a whole bunch of extra gear like this. And some extra rations. We have those to this. Oh! I... I pressed the up button, and we fought again. Okay then. Well... I am going to point out the, uh... The power of sleep spores was very helpful last fight. I don't think I made Tom attack, did I? This video is probably on way over time. Well, in that oh my god! In that case, I probably should just end it right here. Oh, he's gonna sleep some more. More sleeping. Enough for a frost winner? Do. He's just screwed. I don't even die from it. He's reached level 10. Alright, so when we come back, we will loot this. And then we will continue to try to get through this ravine without even more bandits. But we probably won't. So what happens happens, and I'll see y'all then.